At the top for us tonight, they are fun and easy to get around in, but sadly, golf cart crashes seem to be plaguing the city of Port Aransas. Now city leaders are trying to do their best to raise awareness and help keep people safe. Our Michael Gibson spoke with law enforcement who tonight tell us they're averaging two rollover golf cart crashes every week. Here in Port Aransas, the golf cart rental business is booming. That's because it seems like nearly every tourist wants to get behind the wheel of one of those golf carts to tour around town. It's fun. It's fun riding around. They're easy to get in and out. We get in and out of the shops quicker. Um, we've been on the beach with it, which is a lot of fun. Well, you don't have to worry about parking spaces because these are easy to zip in and out of a parking space. Everybody's friendly down here, so everybody waves as you go by. It's just fun. As you just heard, tourists love the golf carts. That is, until they wreck one. Typically, we have one or two golf cart rollovers a week. Fortunately, most of them are low speed, and, and they're not generally um, very serious, although we, we do see, see people transported to the hospital. Here are some of the photos of the damage done when someone wrecks one of the golf carts. It's become enough of a problem that the folks at the Port Aransas Chamber and Visitors Center created an animated public service announcement starring Flynn the Turtle. Okay, but then buckle up. Why do we need to wear our seatbelts before starting the cart? What a great question. Not only is it the law, but it will protect us if we're involved in an accident. We'll have to stop suddenly. Unlike in cars, very few people we saw in golf carts actually were wearing seatbelts including children. We're concerned about people um, maybe not following the rules, you know, putting kids on their laps is a big no-no. City officials hope this safety campaign will help lower the number of accidents and keep all four wheels firmly on the ground. From Port Aransas, Michael Gibson, 3 News. Safe driving out there, y'all.